All right, y'all. Welcome back. Um, this is a fun. This is gonna be a fun uh, video to make because I am competing in a swim bait contest put on by the uh, company that makes my swim bait molds, Angling AI. They are calling it the King of the Hook contest, and uh, you might have remembered if you follow me on Facebook, I. Uh, I posted also on my YouTube as well. I posted a, uh, a picture uh, pictures of five of my swim baits and asked uh, my customers and friends to vote on which one they thought was best. And overwhelmingly, uh, you all chose my hickory shad, and that was a good choice, I guess, because that's the one I, I put in, and it made it to the finals. So me and four other swim bait open pour. Folks, well, I think one person did an open pour worm. Um, I remember. But me and four other people got chosen to compete in the finals. Except this, we have one more bait to make to uh, move on, but we don't get to pick it. This is what we have to make to win. They're going to choose the best one out of those five submissions and uh i'm not gonna lie it's uh, pretty intimidating um i made a practice run already uh just to kind of get my get my grip not completely satisfied with it but it was a really good experience to kind of see um how things are going to work with it and what colors i'm going to use and if i can touch up colors but this was my practice one this is not even close to being good enough to submit because there's cold cracks uh i want to emphasize some features on it but this was my first run and uh this video we are going to be filming the actual bait i'm going to submit so i want to say thank you to everyone that uh helped me uh Pick that hickory shad. Every, the The judges loved it, apparently. Um, and you all loved it. I love it, obviously, because it's a bait that I make. And, uh, yeah. I feel really honored to be kind of in the running for something like this. So I'm going to go ahead and try to make that. Let me go get my thoughts together and see how I want to proceed, and we will be right back. All right, y'all, let's get started. I'm going to heat up a few of the colors I'm going to start off with, and uh, we're going to try and improve on this. Not a, a big fan, but I love what I learned from pouring this. So let's go ahead and get the first color mixed up. I think how I want to start is I'm going to start on the stripes again. Got some very cool stripes on these, and uh, I'm going to try and emulate it the best way I can. And the only way that I thought of for this, that so you can see here, is I went really dark black, and then I, I let it pull up up here, and then I let it kind of slide down a little bit and thin out with some uh, 0 0.035 flake in there. And that really is kind of what I saw in there. So what I did is, and you'll see it when I pour it, uh, I'm going to pour the stripe. And when it, whenever it all tries to accumulate down, I'm just going to shift it back up and let it pull up right there. That way I get a really thick black top part, and I let the the, the thinner stuff slide down, and uh, it kind of emulates that, that stripe I'm looking at. All right, let's get this uh, first color going, the black, with the flakes. So I think what I did last time before I darkened it up too much, I think I put 10 drops, and it was perfect. So one, two, three, four. And I kind of wanted a little more, so I'll put two more drops in. There we go. And I used a lot of flake. For a half a cup of plastic, that is. It's a lot of flake. Uh, I really wanted that flake to stand out, and it didn't as much as I wanted it to. So I'm going to add a little more this time. It's the most nervous I've ever been because I really want to win this thing. 
All right, my trusty GoPro battery died right off the bat. So, fresh one in. Basically, the, the stripe color, I got four scoops, uh, uh, quarter teaspoon uh, scoops of 0 0.035 flake, and I got 10 drops of, this is the black I use. I just bought, it was one of the first paints I bought, or pigments I bought, so I just been using this. And uh, about 10 drops. Uh, actually, I added two more just because on my first bait, I decided it wasn't quite as dark as I wanted it, so I added two more. So uh, let's get that mixed up and see what it looks like. Yeah, see how it kind of, it's black, but it kind of bleeds through. All that, all that stuff is going to remelt. It looks a lot darker than it and than it is. See how you can still kind of see through it. But whenever I do that effect to it, it'll look really dark on top and then kind of lighten up as it falls down the side of the belly. All right, we're back, y'all. I am going to do the best I can since this is for a competition. I'm gonna try and make it as easy for myself as possible and position the camera where it's not hindering me but I can still try and get it on camera. It may not be the best view, but uh, I'll show you how it turns out. So let's give this a shot. So the first thing, let me get that picture back up. Is there's kind of that big glob, it's not necessarily a whole stripe, but you can see where genetics tried to make it like a little stripe, but it ended up just being like a little blotch right on the top of his head, right above the gills. And I'm just gonna put a little blotch right there, like that. And make it not a perfect circle, kinda move it around, make it look real blotchy. But yeah, just gonna come out something like that. Now it's not like 100% black where you can't see through it at all. But it is just dark enough to where I kind of want it. <laughs> so let's get um, three stripes down the side. Or four stripes down the side. So I got a big thing here is they're going to want to see that I'm spacing them out. They won't want to see a lot of technique. So I'm going to try and space them out evenly. The, last, the first run I did, I didn't pay too much attention to it because I was just trying to see what the colors were going to do. But let's try and get this done for real. I don't want it to go down too far, but then I want it to pull back up down there. So it's darker at the top and then it kind of lightens up. I'm not totally happy with that one, so I'm just gonna take it off. Let's try it again. I might have to heat this plastic back up because in these little cups it gets viscous really quick. There we go. I think I just needed more plastic. I'm a little happier with that. I definitely don't want it to go all the way down. But I definitely, I want it to pull up at the top. So it's thicker up there and then you can kind of see through it. It's still dark, but you can see through it as it goes down. Let's get another one of those. I'll do one more on camera and then I'll come back whenever it's all good and striped away. My videos tend to last too long of me wasting time. Might have to redo that one. All right, I think we got a product here. And I got them pretty, pretty even. I'm doing my best to keep them nice and lined up because I think that's something they're going to take notice to whenever they do the judging. Technique is just as uh, important as the colors I use and um, how good it looks. If it looks good. It's still yet to be seen. But anyway, so now what I want to do is I have a different black. A really way more saturated black. See all those dots in between? I am not going to use 
glitter or flake for that. I think that's what the other guys are going to do. So I am going to use another method and get black spots on there. And the tail, that black uh, dot surrounded by yellow on the tail, I'm going to use a way more saturated black for that. And uh, hopefully it turns out all right. It came out all right on the other one, but I can I think I can do better and more. I can be more thorough. All right, Jill. I'm not going to talk a lot through this one because uh, I just want to get through it. And uh, really not going to make sense of it anyway, but I'm going to be utilizing my uh, soldering iron again. And I need to get in between those stripes and make those dots. So there's some, there's some dots in here and they kind of interconnect. They kind of want to be like a pattern, but they break up. So I'm going to try and emulate that as much as I can. And again, like I said, I'm trying to distinguish or uh, differentiate myself from what I think everyone else is going to do. I think everyone else is going to be use glitter up there and kind of skin pour it. And I'm going to try and be different if that's possible. But as you can see, this is way, this is almost like a little plastic and mostly black pigment. <laughs> this is a lot of black pigment, and more than I would typically ever use on a single project. But uh, I'm just going to quit talking. I'm going to go ahead and try and do this like the camera's not even on. And uh, when I cut out, I'll cut out. All right, that's one side. I'm gonna go ahead and reheat this and I'm gonna try and duplicate that on the other. If y'all quit watching, I'll, uh, I'll probably edit it to where you don't have to watch for as long. But that's how it came out and I'm uh, pretty happy with it. All right, y'all moving right along. I, uh, on the next two colors, I'm gonna do these at the same time. Well, I'm gonna color them at the same time, but I'm really focusing on that bright orangish pinkish gill plate with the white in there. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to really thicken it up. And I got the perfect color I didn't use last time, but I didn't I didn't realize I had it until after I started making the last one. Is this uh, Neo Peach uh, by Dead On. That is the perfect, I mean, look at how much that matches. I'm just gonna use straight that and I'm gonna thicken it. I'm gonna make it really thick because I want it to pop. And then the other one's just gonna be straight white because I really want it really shows that white in between the two patches of uh, that orange pink. So I really want that white to pop. So I'm going to mix those up and uh, we'll get to, we'll get the porn. Let's go ahead and get this. I can't wait to see this in there first. I haven't really uh, used this much, so I'm going to shake it up really, really good. All right, let's see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see what ten drops does. I think that I'm gonna need more, but I just want to see. Oh, that is gonna be the perfect color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This isn't a recipe, so I can kind of just eyeball it, but I'm gonna need a lot more. So let's see what that does. Oh yeah. That is thick. That's way thicker than I would usually go. But it's contest time, so you need it to really pop. Let's go a little th thicker. And that, I think, will do it. That is what I'm looking for. Nice, thick, pinkish-orange color. Then we're going to really... A little bit of this dead-on white goes a long way. And I want to use more than I used last time. 
So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah, that dead on white is really concentrated. All right. All right, when I come back, we will uh, get these gills going and uh, hopefully it works out. All right, we're back. I've got the uh, Neo Peach ready to go. I have it really good and hot because I need that plastic to really do my bidding. So I'm going to use my reference over here. I got my soldering iron hot. This is about 380. Usually I don't get stuff that hot, but I really need it to be uh, very non-viscous. I want it to meld and do what I need it to do. All right, so let me get soldering iron. And just like last time, I'm trying to try not to talk much. I'm just gonna do what I do. And if anyone has questions, just leave them in the comments below. All right, so what we got so far, I'll come back whenever I get the finished product. All right, y'all, we are back. I got the uh, gills and everything how I want them. You'll see those in a little bit. But right now, one uh, of all, other than those gills and the stripes, the thing that makes this bait, this uh, fish picture pop out to me is that right there. And I tried on my last bait to get that little eye to pop and I did not succeed. So I'm gonna take drastic measures and I'm gonna make, I was making it yellow based, but I think to differentiate it from the rest of the bait, I'm gonna make it chartreuse based and then add some yellow. And uh, I don't care if the color matches or not, I want people to know that I, I want them to know I paid attention to that. Uh, that's just my personal opinion, philosophy. I would, I would want that highlighted. It, it just pops to me, and it's kind of indicative of a of a peacock bass. Uh, well, of pictures I've seen. I've never actually seen one in real life, but every picture I've seen, that was pretty identifiable right there. So I'm going to go ahead and mix that up right now. My favorite one and only chartreuse that I use in my bait shop, because there's no other reason to try another one, is dead on. The most bright, brilliant, beautiful chartreuse on the mark, in my opinion, but it is equally as messy. <laughs> I'm just gonna put a big squirt of it in there and uh, see what we get. Oh yeah. So I'm not gonna leave it just like that. I'm gonna dull it a little bit, but I want, I don't want that to go unnoticed. So that's why I'm doing this. So that is bright chartreuse and I'm gonna put a little of this uh, sunshine yellow in there that I used the other day so last time I did I used this as the base and I tried to brighten it up a little bit with the chartreuse it didn't work it kind of just blended into the rest of the bait so I'm hoping we can rectify that right here Boy, that yellow kind of took it over. I didn't even put that much in. But that is going to get someone's attention. Maybe some more chartreuse. I definitely want it to be thick. I don't want to see through it. It's a customer. Let me get that out of there. All right. I think. Let's see. Is that thick enough? I can still see through it. This, I do not want to see through. Usually my baits, I, I pride myself on having some see-through ability. But not this, I want this to just be totally opaque. All right, we're back. I went ahead and just laid the plastic on there um, 
just to save time because this is gonna be a long video but I threw it on there it looks really sloppy right there but that's not what they're gonna be looking at they're gonna be looking at this on the other side and uh, remember no matter how bad it looks in here it usually ends up better after the baits done so I went ahead and just did that real quick to save time let's move on to the next part and I am going to put the green on the head. All right, y'all, we're back. I went ahead and did the bright yellow on the back, saving time. I'm gonna go ahead and get on the uh, green for this uh, head of this big old peacock bass. I see a lot of green and gold looking stuff. So I got the the stuff I'm gonna use for the gold in the vacuum chamber right now. I'm gonna have that. I'm gonna put a little bit of that. I'm gonna do a little drizzling with some green and some gold and uh, see what see what sticks. But uh, for, as the base, I am going to use what is slowly becoming my favorite color in my arsenal is this Kudzu 153 from Lureworks. This stuff is just awesome. It's like a mix. It's hard to describe. It's like another kind of, there's like all kinds of greens you can work with and they all have different, I don't know, uses. This this one really does it for me. So I went really light on the last one. So I'm going to go a little, little heavier and I might add some other uh, greens in there. Let's just see. I know that's not going to be enough, but I just want to see how it looks. Look at that green. It's like a, it's like a mix between a watermelon and a green pumpkin. I don't know how to, I don't know how to describe it. But I really like it, and it looks like it would go really good with some gold. So I think this is the perfect peacock bass color. And it looks dark in the cup, but whenever I poured it out the, uh, the bait, it's really, really light. It didn't really have an effect. So I'm going to add a little more of it to thicken it up, and I'm going to add some other greens to give it some help. already setting up on me uh so i think that's good for the that oh look at that green i just love that um maybe a few more drops let's go one two three four all right got a few more drops of that um this dead on stuff the regular colors from dead on are soup tend to be super concentrated so i don't need a lot I haven't used this in a while, so I'm going to shake it up. But I really want to bolden it up a little bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm not even going to take a full drop. I'm just going to let it touch my, my stirrer right there. And I can see a little bit of a change. Let's add a little bit more. There we go. Just kind of bolden it up a little bit. I'm going to have to heat this up before I do much more. But that's kind of going to be our face with a little bit of the uh, the gold that I'm going to use for this bait kind of drizzled in there. So let me get some work done and we'll be back and uh, I'll show you the progress. Okay, this is where we're at. I'm uh, kind of skipping around just to save time and I know I can talk a lot. But that's two different colors of green. That's just that kudzu with a little black, a drop of regular green, and some gold highlight in the in the head. Then I have a lighter version of that kudzu color just running down the, the back. And I'm going to let that the belly color kind of stand behind it so it kind of blends from top to bottom. And I'm going to do one more skin pour right over the stripes, right around in this area. Like still leaving the belly open because that's that's pure white as far as I can tell in the picture. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna pour the bellies and then we'll be getting ready to uh, put them on the griddle and uh, start heating these up and pouring the meat of these baits. So let me uh, get some plastic ready and we'll be right back. All right, y'all, this is where we're at. Got the head poured, got the belly with the that's just a pearl with some flake in it. 
I even put some .004 gold flake. If you can find that, I think I got it from MF. So that super small flake. I put a little bit of that in there. I put some pearl. All three different sizes of uh, like the .008, .015, .035 uh, black flake in there. And I got that lighter green on the top, which we talked about a second ago. And I got the the uh, yellow pearl on the belly. I'm going to put these together. Put them on the uh, griddle and let them get good and hot. All right, y'all. I skipped a few steps. <laughs> Forgot to use the video camera. And uh, I'm here now. So the bait is poured. Hopefully in about an hour we will open up some magic and uh, I will have something worthy of submitting. If not, I'm just going to do it all over again and uh, stay up all night because I got to do this right. As I would really love to be the king of the hook. Sponsored by Angling AI. It would be super awesome. All right, y'all. It is cooled off and uh, we're going to open her up. If it looks good, you'll see it in the video. If it doesn't, you'll be seeing another one. <laughs> Trick photography. Oh, yeah.